It's a lot of beer, dude. Uh huh. Huh? Looks like an early 2000s Accord, and that's an ultimate. Uh huh. The entire top of the car off. Homicide, vehicular homicide, or DUI manslaughter. We will try you as an adult. So um, many of the things that he was going to do at UCF, for example, uh, going to Vegas, uh, visiting his family. Um, it will be my job. It is my job now to try to get you for 15 years for that vehicular homicide. I'm going to tack on another 15 years for that vehicular manslaughter. We've got two very seriously injured individuals. That's going to be another five years. If I can jack up that, that uh, charge again, I'm going to try to get you for another 15 years. So instead of the 20 years that was alleged, I'm actually going to try to get you for nearly 40 to 50 years in prison. Uh, so anything you thought about doing, uh, thought about having kids after that Vegas trip. Thought about going to UCF. Thought about returning uh, 20 years outside of prison and going back to school. It's going to be my job to make sure that you never have the opportunity again to kill somebody, hurt somebody again while you're drinking and driving, or again, what is the worst part about our job is having to deal with victims. Um, we have to deal with these victims. Our victim advocates have to deal with these victims. And we have to go alongside with them for years and years. Had to drop it a Chevy will take a year or two, and you will stay in jail. That entire time this case takes that year or two. And we have to come alongside them. We have to get them counseled. We have to help make sure that they understand why the legal process takes the time to will. But again, what will help them cope is that you will pay for this That's That is cool. And he doesn't deny the fact that he's not. Fuck you. the alert helicopter's actually We are now 25 minutes into that golden hour. So they literally have 35 minutes to load the paper and transport into the hospital and get them into surgery. Field goal. Watch that. It's a ass kid.
Luckily for this victim, a little took off 32 minutes into the middle of an hour. Mm -hmm. It'll be about a 10 minute flight to the Orlando Regional Medical Center in North, downtown Orlando. They'll make it within the goal now. However, not everybody so lucky. Stuff, let's go. <laughs> Mom would be hysterical. Oh, that's not. I was taking the parents to actually identify the body for the dog. This isn't always an easy task. Exactly. Sometimes, due to the injuries, they have to identify from parts of the body. Sometimes they have to identify from the clothing they're wearing. Sometimes the parents are actually on the scene of these crashes and have to watch their children die. The reaction of the parents that these officers have to experience range from shock, anger. We've had officers that have been punched by the parents out of sheer anger and fear of losing a child. But what about Katie? Katie, she will never travel the world. She's never going to go to Palm Beach Atlantic University on that scholarship. She's never going to become a pharmacist. Her parents, twin sister, younger brother will never see her future accomplishments. And they'll always wonder what they could have done differently to erase this tragic event. Those photos her mom took on her iPhone, they'll probably never be erased, even though the pain from the parents of seeing those pictures every time. But she won't be able to erase those. She's going to look at them over and over again. And that is something the parents have to deal with every time a child is killed in a DUI crash. And the thing is, DUI crashes and DUI fatalities, they're equal opportunity. They don't care about your race. They don't care about your age. They don't care about your gender or your social status. They don't care if you're the prom queen or queen or if the class jokester. It doesn't matter. If you're one of those in the numbers that happens to be caught in it, it's not going to It's not going to care. Also, just want you to know that Sarah was a graduate of uh, Lake Mary High School and was attending Seminole State College. And this month, actually, October 10th, marks her anniversary of her tragic death. All right, what has happened while we've been here? During the time we've been here, approximately two people...